Then it's west, to the Baltic coast, at Clybida, Lithuania's largest port. The centre of Clybida has the air of a place out of time. It used to be known as Memel, and for most of its life, it has been a German town. Originally conquered by the crusading Teutonic Knights, it became part of Prussia. And with the unification of Germany in the 19th century, Memel became the easternmost city of an empire that stretched from here to France. Germany lost Memel after the First World War. But Hitler repossessed it, coming here in 1939 and giving a speech from the balcony of the theatre. Germany lost it again in 1945 to the Russians. And the group were staying at the Kleipeda Hotel, pride of former Soviet intourist. Tony is not in Prince. This monument of a hotel is the worst of the old system. It's absolutely horrendous. So Tony and Mavis and some other members of the group escape onto a schooner. There's a disco bar on board. to the ferry for the short voyage across to the Curonian Spit. The Curonian Spit is a hundred kilometers long and one of the most distinctive natural features on the Baltic coast. In Soviet times it was closed to visitors and the southern end is still Russian territory, the enclave of the Kaliningrad region. This stretch of the Baltic shore is known as the Amber Coast. Amber is the fossilized resin of ancient pine trees, sometimes with insects trapped in it. And it is found here in abundance. Amber has been called the Lithuanian gold. And there's a stop to make some purchases. It's nice. <laughs> The magical air of the spit led Thomas Mann, the celebrated German novelist, to spend his summers here. And today the spit is a national park. Mm -hmm. 